T though. Okay. Just call me T. All right. Okay, T, how you liking the Illinois so far, man? I'm liking. I'm. I'm really enjoying it. You know, once I got here, like it was a, it was a quick transition. But since I've been here, they've took me in. You know, I felt like the, I've I've had a, good time adjusting and getting acclimated. So. Really enjoying it for the most part. Still Big Ten football, so it's not, not a huge adjustment for you, right? Still the same level of yeah, football. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like with me, when making my decision, I knew that I, I'm a, from Columbus, Ohio, so I really wanted to stay in like the Midwest, Big Ten. You know, it's all the same stuff. So, really enjoying it, definitely. You're on the other side of the rivalry now. Has that been a topic of conversation at all? Uh, I mean, the guys are joking around for me from time to time, but you know, like for me, like this is my team. That's them are still my brothers and stuff, so I really ain't looked at it from that part. It's football, football. We go in that field, we ready to play off the field. Still my boy, so. Why was this the right pick for you? Say that again. Why was this the right pick for you at Omar? Um, for me, because like I said, I grew up in the Midwest, and you know, Big Ten ball. That's something that I felt like fit my playing style on the field. And um, when I got around like the guys, and I got around like Coach B. Coach J Mo was like, you know, like an instant connect and like they wanted to reach the same goals and had the same goals for me that I had for myself. And I just felt like this was the place to be. You feel like from a personality standpoint, you and J Mo kind of uh, connect and click a little bit? Uh, yeah, I think he's a he's a great person. Like he only has all of our best interests and like from a few times I met with him as far as like recruiting and Gary just seemed sitting down and getting to know him like I feel like I've been able to connect with him and he's just kind of like me similar because like he's more of a quiet person than I am too so like it's been you know connecting with him. Were you looking for somebody like that as a coach? I mean he seems like a quiet leader but can get on you when he has to but there's a teaching aspect to what he does. I mean not necessarily like for me I knew I was looking for somebody that could just take me to the level that I needed to get to you know and like it was Football, like when I sat down in the meetings, he opened his eyes. He opened my eyes, and it's it was, he knew what he was talking about. So, you know, I, that's really what caught my attention. What do you feel like you bring to this defensive line? What I bring to the defensive line, I feel like I bring somebody that's first and second down run stopper. Like that's what I'm gonna do. Somebody that's gonna like push my teammates to be better. Mm -hmm. Hold not only hold them accountable, but not only me holding them accountable, it's just like you know trying to lead by example and come in because, you know, being a transfer, you got to work your way into it, but just trying to elevate the, elevate the team and help they do the same for me. Do they, do they imagine you as nose guard or do they imagine you as one of the two outsides? Or? Um, necessarily, like, during recruiting, they told me, like, you know, nose zero would, would be the ideal, you know, so that's definitely, like, I mean, you got to know all the positions on the defensive line, so not necessarily going to be single down to those, but yeah, I didn't do that. What are the places did you consider? What are the schools? Um, as far as the schools I consider, you know, like um, I was talking to schools. I was talking to schools and it was like a situation where, you know, you had to go visit to show your interest in the offer. So like, it was it was kind of a weird situation. I necessarily don't want to speak on schools that didn't officially offer me, but I was talking to a few schools behind the scenes. Did you visit other places or just only there? only school other school I visited was Western, Western Kentucky. Okay. Um, you know, with the the time frame of me hitting the portal, I didn't have no time to really visit any schools. So it was that last weekend it was where did I want to go in a school that I could realistically see myself at. Is there something that maybe led you to wanting a fresh start at a new school? Um as far as a fresh start, you know, like, I mean, college football, Division One football is Division One football for me. You know, like, I just, it, it necessarily wasn't like a specific reason for that. I just wanted to be somewhere where I could just be happy. But late November, you guys even go to Evanston. How yeah. have you thought about how weird that's going to be, what that would uh, be like? To be honest, I, that's far away. I got to focus on the training right now. You know, it was talks like when I, family joking around with me and stuff like when I first committed. Uh, I'm not thinking too much of it because like I said, like there's still good people over there. Like it's a football game, yes, right, but football is football. You step on the field, you're out there to win. So I'm not worried about the outside noise. What are your goals for the spring now that you can get settled and figure out how you how you fit here? 
my goals for the spring is really just to elevate my game. You know, like I came somewhere where I put in a position to just grind, grind. It's really just about getting better day by day, and getting you acclimated to this defense and you know the team and stuff like that. That was my main thing for me, year because you know when you come in the summer, it's it's a quick transition. I didn't want to have to like make that quick transition so mid year, and I could also get the spring ball under my belt, and get a feel for the coaches, you know, and shoot. What's a winter workouts been like, and um, how has Tank Ride uh, helped you uh, improve your body? Winter workouts, they've been great. Like, I definitely like, I enjoy them. Like, um, as far as Coach Tank, like, he's a good person, and he's like, what he says, what he's saying, you know. Lifting, I mean, all all college strength and condition is hard, but he's definitely like, I feel like he's going to give me where I need to go. How, how's the school part going for you? School part, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's been an adjustment, but in a good way, you know. Like, I feel like it's not as not as tough. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I just feel like, you know, coming from there where academics is preached and coming from, it, coming from so coming from Northwest,